Pythagoras is widely viewed as one of the most famous and controversial ancient Greek philosophers. He fused myth with math, and through the application of this fusion, he accomplished great things. Our journey begins in Samos, a Greek island in the Aegean Sea. Pythagoras is believed to have been born in Samos in 570 BC. Though little is known of Pythagoras' childhood, it is probable that he had two brothers and that he was very well educated, learning to play the lyre, how to write poetry, and how to recite Homer. Pythagoras, as well as Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle are all portrayed in this famous painting. Pythagoras was most greatly influenced by two philosophers, Thales, who can be seen in the photo above, and his pupil, Anaximander. They both lived in Miletus. It is said that Pythagoras visited Thales in Miletus when he was between 18 and 20 years old. By this time, Thales was an old man, and although he created a strong impression on Pythagoras, he probably did not teach him a great deal. However, he did contribute to Pythagoras' interest in mathematics and astronomy, and advised him to travel to Egypt to learn more of these subjects. An examiner, as seen in the photo above, was interested in geometry and cosmology, and many of his ideas would influence Pythagoras' own view. In 525 BC, the king of Persia invaded Egypt. Egyptian resistance collapsed, and Pythagoras was taken prisoner and taken to Babylon. Iambiculus writes that Pythagoras was transported by the followers of Cambyses as a prisoner of war. Whilst he was there, he gladly associated with the Magwai and was instructed in their sacred rites and learnt about a very mystical worship of the gods. He also reached the acme of perfection in both arithmetic and music and the other mathematical sciences taught by the Babylonians. The core beliefs that Pythagoras held were, number one, that at its deepest level, reality is mathematical in nature. Number two, that philosophy can be used for spiritual purification. Number three, that the soul can rise to union with the divine. And number four, that certain symbols have a mystical significance. Pythagoras not only had unique thoughts, but he also practiced a unique lifestyle. A lifestyle that was focused around maintaining wellness. This was largely obtained through a proper diet and relaxation. In fact, the song currently playing is ancient lyre music, which is almost the exact music Pythagoras listened to while working to achieve relaxation. Pythagoras studied properties of numbers which would be familiar to mathematicians today, such as even and odd numbers, triangular numbers, perfect numbers, etc. However, to Pythagoras, numbers had personalities which we hardly recognize as mathematics today. Each number had its own personality, masculine or feminine, perfect or incomplete, beautiful or ugly. This feeling of modern mathematics has deliberately eliminated but we still find overtones of it in fiction and poetry. 10 was the very best number. It contained in itself the first four integers, one, two, three, and four. And these, written in dot notation, formed a perfect triangle. Perhaps what Pythagoras is best known for is his mathematical formula for finding the hypotenuse of a triangle, called the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagoras started an academy which gradually formed into a society or brotherhood called the Order of the Pythagoreans in Croton, a Dorian Greek colony in southern Italy. The disciplines of the Pythagoreans included silence, music, rigid cleanliness, utter loyalty, and secrecy above all else. We see here the roots of later monistic orders. Two symbols held sacred by the Pythagoreans is the sacred Tetrakides and the star Pentagram, as shown in the photo above. Today, all that physically remains that was once the site of Pythagoreans' meeting house is the following plaque to mark its presence. 
Though contested by some, Pythagoras is accredited with inventing the word philosophy. He was also one of the first people to propose that the world was spherical, not flat. Pythagoras's legacy lives on today. It can be seen in technology, architecture, and our overall infrastructure. Almost everything in our evolved modern society, in some way or another, was built upon the foundation that Pythagoras provided.